Most predators rely on speed or brute force, but the tiger? It uses silence like a weapon. In the darkest corners of Earth's forests, it moves like a ghost, never seen until it's too late. Every stripe on a tiger is unique, like a fingerprint. But these aren't just for looks. Evolution designed this pattern to erase the tiger from reality. Prey don't see a predator, they see shadows. Before the pounce, the tiger's brain becomes a military-grade calculator. It maps angles, memorizes wind shifts, predicts prey behavior all in milliseconds. This isn't just instinct, it's intelligence. Most predators create chaos. Tigers end it. Their paws are padded, their steps measured. They can kill 600 pound prey without making a sound louder than a heartbeat. While wolves rely on numbers and lines on pride, the tiger walks alone. It doesn't need backup. It is the backup. And that solitude has shaped its brain into a master of solitary warfare. One tiger rules a kingdom larger than most cities. Why? Because to survive, it needs silence, space, and power. Anything that enters uninvited is either forced out or never seen again. Those glowing eyes don't just see in the dark. They trigger fear. Many prey species are genetically wired to panic at the sight of them. Evolution didn't just make the tiger deadly, it made it terrifying. Peaceful one moment, merciless the next. Tigers are the only big cats that swim for fun and kill with surgical cruelty. They live a dual life, part monk, part monster. Science once thought predators lacked emotion. But recent studies show tigers feel stress, protect their young fiercely, and even more. Behind the power is a mind wired for emotion. As forests vanish, human footprints enter tiger domains. But the tiger doesn't flee, it adapts. And when the balance breaks, both sides pay a price. This is no longer a jungle war. It's a psychological one. Most animals flirt, tigers fight. Before mating, males and females clash violently. It's not about romance. It's a brutal test of genetic strength. Only the fiercest males are allowed to pass on their bloodline. Their bond lasts just a few days. Once mating is done, the male aims never to meet his cubs. In the tiger world, fatherhood ends at conception. Tiger cubs are born blind, helpless, and silent. For weeks, the mother hides them from the world and from predators that include leopards, hyenas, even other tigers. By two months, the lessons begin. A tiger mother is both teacher and drill sergeant. Playtime isn't just fun, it's a rehearsal for death. Failure is frequent, but so is persistence. When a tiger cub makes its first kill, it's more than instinct. It's earned. Some tiger attacks seem random, but locals tell a different story. Tigers remember faces, smells, voices. Revenge isn't a human trait. It lives deep in the wild. A tiger's brain is 16% larger than a lion's. Not just brawn, but complex neural architecture. It solves problems, plans routes, and even manipulates prey behavior. Some tigers have learned to avoid surveillance, poacher traps, and even drones. In India, one male evaded 80-plus cameras for two years. How did he know? No one knows. Tigers are labeled man-eaters, but it's often a myth. Most attacks are rare and usually triggered by human intrusion. The real monsters? Often the stories themselves. Across Asia, Tigers are gods, demons, and guardians. In some cultures, they guide souls. In others, they haunt dreams. Few animals live so deeply in the human mind. Every roar echoes like a war drum. A male tiger's territory is sacred marked by scent, claw marks, and memory. If another dares to cross the invisible line, it's not a warning, it's a death match. These battles decide who rules, who mates, and who dies. Tigers don't just roar. They whisper in frequencies below human hearing.
These infrasonic calls can travel miles, reaching mates or rivals in the silence of the jungle. It's a secret language. One humans are only just starting to decode. When a tigress loses her cubs to poachers, rival males, or starvation, something breaks. For days, she searches and calls, returning to the den in vain. Her grief is visible, heavy, a mourning heart as science is still learning to measure. She remembered the humans who killed her cubs, and one by one, she returned under moonless skies, choosing not just to attack, but to punish. Tigers have been documented showing signs of calculated revenge. It's not just instinct, it's memory and wrath. She looks like a creature from legend, but the golden tiger is real. Caused by a rare genetic mutation, she's a ghost in the jungle, nearly invisible to rivals and researchers alike. Only a handful have ever been seen alive. One kill feeds a family, but ten kills reshape a forest. By hunting deer and wild boar, tigers prevent overgrazing. Without them, the jungle collapses. They are more than predators, they are architects of balance. In the Sunderbands, the tides take more than land, they take lives. Tiger cubs here face drowning, crocodiles, and starvation. Their survival is a daily war against water. Nature doesn't mourn the lost, but this mother does. Once, they ruled the frost-bitten forests. Now, only a few remain. Hunted, starved, and driven out, the Siberian tiger is becoming a ghost. But that fading roar still echoes. A warning, a memory. A tiger's brain is wired like a tactician's. With memory maps of hundreds of kilometers, it can recall kills, threats, and ambush spots. This predator doesn't just hunt its plans. The question is no the longer how powerful go? they are, but how long we have before they vanish. The last tiger's footprint may already be fading, and with it, a world that once roared. If animals think like this, what else don't we know? Subscribe and question everything.